Hey, welcome back everybody, Cyan here again for the second episode, and kind of a fruitful night. I managed to kill a fire creeper. As you can see here, I got a piece of coal out of him. More gunpowder, rotten flesh, more arrows, bones. I was hoping for another ender pearl, but yeah, no luck there. And I did accidentally knock off my candle there, I'm swinging my sword. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff away now. I'm go for a quest book. It's first thing in the morning, so... Consume task. Three bones. One, two, three. And we'll do that. I'm going to need two more bones, too, actually. But I'm going to submit that, and I'm going to leave that for now. The Eyes Habit. Detection task. Five rotten flesh. Cool. Reward bag. First tasks. Got that one hanging out. I need to make some drying racks. Oops. And now I need to consume or submit some arrows here. So I've got both of those done. Cactus root, saguaro fruit, cactus root. This one could take a while, actually, because I need to wait for it to rain before I get saguaro fruit. Carpentry, make a chest. And it's a crafting task, unfortunately. Super crafting frame, though. Alright, so I need some drying racks. So we're going to go boom, boom, boom. Ah, let go. Thank you. Drying racks. Manual submit. Um, I could have tried submitting the ones I had. But, you see, 693, and you go here, 693, colon, 2. Uh, if they have metadata on them, they will not work. And they get metadata when you place them. Now, some salt, some beeswax, some honey, and some leather. Now, let's see. Oop. Leather, huh? To get leather, impied, which means going to the nether. No thanks. I can get a saddle, fish it up for 5 leather. Uh, that's doable. Or some zombie jerky. It goes to leather. This zombie jerky, though, requires rotten flesh and salt. Not like what I'm doing here. That makes monster jerky. A bit of a difference. But, let's see. I'm going to need to do a little bit of setup here. Namely, I need some drying racks, right? Let's see what this basic bag has in it, too. It has ore, copper berry bush, tin, and a couple herb gardens. Now the basic bags have been altered too, so you don't get as many trees now. And actually, I'm going to do, put that there. Get my queen bee. Get her in there, get her working. Uh, ooh, trail mix. Actually, that's pretty decent food. Um, I've disparaged it a lot in the past because you end up getting so much of it. But right at the very beginning of the map, it's awesome food. Now, don't eat while you still have the... Uh, the golden saturation marker going because it just you waste your saturation otherwise. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, let's get some drag racks there. There. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some red sand. Now I'm going to say come out to here roughly. Just make a too high wall for my drag racks. Bingo. And I guess two more there. Alright, now honeycomb. Boonk, goes up there. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I'm going to turn these in because I need this fresh water. The wax comb. Yeah, I need all that really. So I'm going to choose flint shards for that one. And I'm going to choose shell mix, I guess. So now what I can do is I can take this fresh water, plunk it right there. That'll turn into salt for me. And actually, that is a submit quest, isn't it? Uh, this one here. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to actually need both of those to be salt. Do a little bit of landscaping here on my, my hidey hole. I can't really call it much of anything else right now. It's a hidey hole. Now, the monster hunting at night is not all that great so far. I need to figure out ways to, to make it better. Uh, one thing I could do is this. Where if I'm down here now, I can kind of peek through and I can hit enemies that are around the corners anyway. Alright, what else we got going here? Okay, leather. Honey's already up there. Beeswax. Yes, let's get these up here. Bunk, bunk. Cool. Now... 
Uh, super crafting frame. I should be able to actually do this. It's actually a really cheap recipe. And it's an awesome item. I just never really use it for... Uh, God knows why reasons, actually. So you get eight sticks. Oh, no. Crap. Mess that up. You need a crafting table. And now eight sticks, right? There's my super crafting frame. Ta-da! I'm just going to put that on the wall right there for now. <coughs> to actually change the recipe, you got to do this. Okay. Set it here. Player in inventory. Inventory only. Player only. If By inventory, it means whatever you've actually stuck it on. I put it on a piece of sand. It doesn't have an inventory. So it doesn't matter really what that's on. As long as player is mentioned, you're fine. And now you set up a recipe here. Um... Let's say, what happens if I take these two? No, okay, it doesn't do it. Do that. So now it says drying rack, right? Walk up, right click it, it automatically crafts me drying racks. Based off of either what's in the chest it's on or my inventory or whatever. However it's set up. Pretty nifty little item. Not that bad, not the greatest. I mean, really. So, oh, detection task now. Damn it, ten fences. And there's four fences over where I found the apiary. I should have grabbed those. I'm not heading back there. That's 260 meters that way. Got better things to do in the daylight. Ooh, I got a bee grub already. Awesome. Means I will be able to continue using this apiary. Somewhat. I am going to need to get a juicer first. But, you know, kind of is what it is. Alright. We grab that, we grab that. And let's grab some sand. I'm going to... I can't right now. Not the way I like to do it, so I'm not. Uh, maple slabs will let through light. It's a bug in Natra. There's nothing you can do about it. I will, however, put together a heart here. Get back up to three. I've got flint shards to repair my tools with, which... Preparing the hatch may not be a bad idea. I was using it as a backup weapon last night. Now, my cutlass did level up once, and I got Bane of Arthropods. Not ideal. Not horrible, though, either, when you get down to it. Right now, though, actually, I find myself needing wood. So, you know what? Okay, running's probably a bad idea right now. Um... Home. There we go. That way it's just easier to find my way back to general area. Once I pick it there, then the spire is right within sight, so I don't need to, don't need to waypoint that. Grab some cactus while I'm out here. I should actually be able to make cactus tools, I think. At least some of it. So. But before I can make tinker tools, I am going to need... A few things. What the hell? Another, another pit right here. All right, fine. I need a mortar and pestle before I can make tinker tools. I believe. At least think that is still how it works. Most likely is. Because you need blank patterns, and the pattern recipe has been changed. I need to plant my sugar cane though before it gets to be too late. I do have that sewage pond behind my house. What's in here now? See, I've got this. This is one I've already checked out. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's an enemy around the corner here and up ahead. It says. There's a desert spider. Hey, let's check out the bane. And I just got leather. Did not know the desert spiders would drop leather. That is actually pretty damn awesome. Cool. I will have to do... Remember that. Hunt them up. There's all sorts of little sand lumps and everything else. And that's yellow sand over there, isn't it? And that's a glitch that happens. Whenever one of these sand lumps tries to form over the top of a liquid pool, then it, uh, it tends to come down as... White sand or yellow sand or what do you want to call it. 
Let's go check that out, and then I'm going to have to hurry back home. The day goes by way too damn quickly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that is yellow sand. Cool. That is a cactus I want there. And there's saguaros here. I am grabbing these. I'm taking these back. I want some close by the base whenever they finally do fruit. I want it to be able to easily gotten to. Well, hello. There's a dragon rack with TNT on it. And a chest of spice leaf, barley, and caramel. Cool. I'm obviously not going to be eating that stuff yet. But, uh... I'm saving that for whenever I, I need the food variety, so to speak. Yep, and here's why the, the sand. Okay, this is kind of a nifty little find here, actually. That's an Enderman. Okay. I'm going to head off kind of this direction, because there's enemies right there. <laughs> Between me and home. Switch back to the Cutlass. What type of creeper are you? I think that's a Sky Creeper. Or a Jumping Creeper. One of the two. Either it calls down Lightning Bolt when it dies, or it, uh... Okay, good. Jumps way up and nails you pretty good. Oh, hi. You saw me, huh? Boom. Oh, you're a fishing zombie? You jerk! I hate you guys. But like, give me the fish and the fishing rod. Cool. A lightning creeper. He dies, he goes, boom, with a lightning bolt. And the fire creeper spread fire all around. Okay. You're a normal zombie. Good. I can just walk this way then. That is a fire zombie or skeleton? One of the two. There's another one. Yeah, walking around at night is not as easy now, that's a splitting creeper, as it used to be. It's still possible. Not exactly recommended. You run into a horde of brutish zombies or skeletons, especially skeletons, you're going to get picked apart in no time flat. No, not there. There. There we go. Get some cactus farm started up there. Let's take care of this, move it. Come on, thank you. So I want a two block spacing on these guys. One, two, uh, one, two. Gives room for each of them to spread fruit on all four sides. And I got one left, so right there. That is a flaming skeleton right there. Got my salt done, though. Grab that out of there. Hey! Jerk. Is that a giant flaming skeleton? Who's ignoring the crap out of me? There we go. Hi. The creeper saw me, too. Good. Ah, really? Really, guys? I move too fast for you. That's a jumping creeper. That's a jumping creeper. Thank God they don't do as much block damage, but uh, you just see him like just shoot off into the sky, right? <laughs> if they do that when they land, they explode no matter what. If they're already jumping, it's too late for you. Are you a giant fire skeleton? Spitfire. Oh, you're a Spitfire. Give me your bow. Give me your damn bow. I'm going to have so much fun with it. You drop your bow. It makes you shoot gas fireballs. Oh, no. Didn't drop the bow. He dropped a fire charge, though. Oh, that's a shame. I wanted his bow so badly. So, a Creeper Collateral is installed. Alright, my 
apologies. I just realized that I had run out of hard drive space on one drive, and the problem is Fraps doesn't really let you know. It's just all of a sudden the little numbers in the corner of the screen that show you your frame rate go from red to yellow. And if you're not paying attention, especially since they're overlaid right over the top of the uh, the hunger overhaul in the top right, yeah, it, it doesn't beep, it doesn't ding, nothing. So, uh, in the meantime, what have I done? Really not a whole lot. I think I did complete a couple of quests real quick. I uh, kind of went over some of these. Uh, carpentry I completed, which was make a chest, make a door, make a pressure plate, make a crook. I got the cinnamon rolls. I finished hanging out because I had all the stuff. Uh, the salt, beeswax, the honey, leather. And then I had to make some candles and turn those in. And I already eat my cherry pie. I think I chose like jelly donuts or some shit off that one. Uh, taint nothing. I still need my fish jerky, but it's drying back at home. It's not a problem. I need to make a fishing rod to be able to do things with that one. I need to wait for my bee to finish its cycle, life cycle. Uh, cactus fruit juice, a juicer, and maple syrup. But the thing is, is I need to make a juicer first. Now, I do have some clay. And I did finally find a slime island. This is what I've been waiting for. I don't think I have enough sand to get up there, though. Kind of an issue. <laughs> if I can get some of that dirt, though, I can speed things up considerably. Thing is, I don't want to try to have to punch through the slimy grass. Punch is relatively fast, right? Right. There we go. I'm not going to make a base up there again. That was fun, but it's a pain in the ass to go up and down all the time. I'm going to have to come back when I have more materials. Because 31 sand is not going to get my butt up there. It's not going to happen. Alright, I heard you, Mr. Zombie. Means there's a void in here somewhere that he spawned in, right? Let's see. Where would the stained clay be? There it is. And it's a nutmeg sapling. That's actually the second one I found. I found a void like this earlier with a skeleton in it. And it had a nutmeg, so... Do, 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 do. I'll take that, actually. See, so yeah, it ran out of hard drive space, um, mainly because this mod pack came out quicker, and I haven't... I have actually, like, another three episodes or so of footage left of the last season. I am 600 meters away from home. Crap. Not cool. I hear spiders too. Great. Um, let's see, grab these since kind of used them all up in a quest. And check this out too on the way home. <clears throat> so I, yeah, a lot of footage from the last season. I may just go ahead and render it out real quick and just throw it out as bonuses every once in a while. Can I get the string? Not easily. Okay. Um, now that I got rid of that sludge, I can kind of come in here, right? Put that there, and put that there. Hey, look! Oops. A drying wax and some bees a drying rack, not drying wax, a drying rack and some beeswax. Now these here will actually speed up Oh hi, I just watched you all spawn right in front of me there. That was not cool. Uh it will help speed up my progress once I get to a sieve. Because that'll let me skip straight through. I can hammer that, turn it into dust. And I can get redstone and whatnot a lot easier than having to make gravel and everything else. This is on or skeleton with a sword. A swad. Nope, okay. He saw me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody else heard that, but uh heard the skeleton take a shot and then the zombie make the uh, pain sound. 
All right. Well, we've got a way to go to home, but I found a slime island, thank God. That was the whole point of this journey, actually. Oh, hell. Fish and zombie. Ow! And I can't sprint right now, either. Thank you. You're dead. That was the important one. Some more of you. What the hell? Oh, no. Spiders. That is an ender creeper on my left. They don't scream when you look at them, so sometimes it's just a really nasty surprise when they show up in your base and blow up. Now, gravity creepers have been removed. Thank God. Because, uh... They, uh, they start blowing up, and they pull you straight into them. Alright. You're dead. Yeah, you're a regular zombie. I can care less about you. That is a giant zombie. Thank you much for dying. So yeah, Cutlass kicks ass. It does kind of break quickly, but uh, much of an issue, and let's see how stupid I can be, huh? Why did I just get lag spike right there? Alright, where do you go now? Thank you. Yeah, that was rather brilliant on my part, wasn't it? Let's piss off the Endermen. Do, 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 do. No, that is a sniper skelly. Go the frick away, dude. Yeah, they tend to shoot at you from a longer distance. Do, 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 do. Alright, I didn't have anything on my drying rack. Cactus there hasn't grown. I don't have any cactus fruit. Let's get inside before something just surprises me and kills me. Alright. Go ahead and finish off my other cinnamon roll. Fun times now. I did end up with more wax, though, so I can make some more candles. I have more saguaro cactus, which I need to get out of my candle there. Yeah, but you're in the hitbox for this. You can't do much of anything. So, all right, boom, boom. I need regular dirt to plant those on, but I need spruce to be able to make barrels to make dirt, so they're going to be hiding out in a chest for a while. There we go. There's that. That away. Put those away. I'm going to plant that in the morning. And I have a regular vanilla bow now, so I'm going to keep my arrows on me. All 17 of them. Uh, the crook can go away as well. Alright. Recipe on a... Damn it. Recipe on fishing rod. Three stakes, two string, and a silkworm. Silkworm. Two sticks. Or two string. And, of course, I didn't have enough sticks, so... Make some more, go here... Hey, recipe! Why did that not shift-click? Probably because these are natural sticks, huh? Fishing rod. Boom. Part of that quest done, anyway. Frenzied fishing. Now I need two raw fish. Any raw fish. I have to turn them in, so it doesn't really... It don't have to be two of the same type, either. But I do have my fish jerky now. Ow! Jerk! Didn't think you were close enough to shoot me. How's my sword doing for experience, anyway? 883 out of 1159. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> Three crits, takes out a zombie, no problems. Hey, Mr. Spider. Hmm. 
More strings always nice. You can't make wool out of it in this pack, though. Oh, hell no. Not another jumping creeper. Man, screw that. <laughs> not dealing with him. Anything over here I want to pick a fight with? Nope. So I'll just go ahead and I will plant my sugar cane. Start another Swarrow farm over here. Do do do. Leave the, the two spacing so that fruit can grow eventually. And yeah. Um hmm. So I'm going to need a lot of sand. That's a bit of a given. Uh, let's see, let's organize that too while we're at it. Hmm. Put that away, that away. Let's grab two of you and two of you. Right? Because it ain't nothing. Submit. That's two, two, and the one jerky. I get to choose gardens. I get a textile garden. I get some dirt, thank God. I can plant some trees. It should be awesome and amazing and wonderful. I'm going to choose... Uh, let's go with grass gardens. There's going to be a lot of things in grass gardens you can use. Alright, organize that up again. Put the garden away, that garden. Got a basic bag, which is going to contain... Gold Orberry, Tin Orberry, and Berry Gardens. I have access to Nutmeg Saplings now, however. So that means that I actually have access to real, real wood. So I'm going to do... I'm going to go plant that there, there. Bone meal the hell out of it. Excuse you. Oh, the fire tick happened right when I swung. So they ignored the hit on him. I hate that happens. Cool. There's that. And I don't really want this tree right now, so I am just going to do this. It's the only way you can do this. You only get one out of it, and they will not grow back on the tree. But I'm not keeping the tree anyway. I mainly did it because I want oak wood. Oak wood means I can make my preferred style of orberry farm, and I can get that sucker running. Uh, let's do this. Put the nutmeg away. Can't do anything with nutmeg right now, anyway. I have to at least have a mortar and pestle. My god, the ugly leaves. I am getting a lot of oak saplings, which, yeah, oak drops a lot more saplings than, like, jungle trees do. It tends to drop more than spruce trees do as well, actually. You know what? I'm just going to fill that in. Oh, I just earned the achievement getting wood, finally. Because maple wood doesn't count for that. Now I have access to oak wood, which is awesome. Gives me something to take care of. Probably in the middle of the night again, like some an idiot. Uh, so we got two ten. Oh, actually, ten's pretty good to have too. Got myself an apple. Just kind of put stuff away in here too, I guess. Yeah. I'm taking the bone crook with, and actually, I should probably go ahead and take the wooden crook. Put the berry gardens away though. All right, and. Uh, I got 12 more times eating. The thing is, is I kind of want to use these up and get them out of my inventory. But I also want to kind of maximize my food. Speaking of which, get my saturation back up. And now, uh, you. No. Yes. Oh man, 600 meters away to a slime island. So I'm just going to walk straight there. So I'm going to cut, and it's kind of a wonky episode. I lost a good 10, 15 minutes of it because I didn't realize I was not recording. But I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here because I, 
my voice is actually getting a little tired and I need to take a bit of a break. And I need to walk 500 meters to here and then... Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper and Spider. Yeah, 450 meters and I got a pillar up and all that fun stuff. So I shall see everybody next episode. Until then, sign signing out. Oh, God, witches.